Hello, friend, and what a great day it is to be able to come back into your presence to share with you coffee and conversation. A ray of hope coming to you from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. A great way to get a new day started, a fresh cup of hot coffee. Well, today, my friend, I want to bring to you a devotion or a thought that I've titled A New Commandment. You know, in John's Gospel, chapter 13, verse 34, the Lord Jesus said, A new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. You know, my friend, the Lord Jesus gives to us in this particular passage of Scripture a new commandment. The Lord Jesus gives to us in this passage of Scripture a new order. Now you need to understand that there are no outs to this commandment. We are commanded to love. There are no pre-existing conditions that could cause us not to love. There are no exemptions whatsoever. We must love. There are no deferments from loving one another. There are no options in loving one another. There are no multiple choices. We don't get to choose whether we love or not. You see, my friend, the Lord Jesus' commandment means that we're to make every sacrifice, even the sacrifice of our life, to carry out His order to love one another. We are to follow the Lord Jesus' order or His commandment without asking question. We're to follow the commandment without doubt. We're to follow the commandment without indecision. We're to follow the commandment without rebellion. We're to follow the commandment without stipulating our own wants and needs and without our inner resistance. You see, my friend, in Christ's way of thinking, His commandment to love one another ought to be an automatic response to our lives. We should love one another automatically. You see, in Christ's way of thinking, the way we love other people ought to be a sacrificial love. Our brand and Christ's brand of sacrificial love is not the lay-downs or run-over-me type of love. You see, Christ's love is the type of love where we're even willing to be hurt so others may be loved. Yes, even willing to be hurt. The sacrificial kind of love where we're willing to suffer so others may be loved is the kind of love that the Lord Jesus had for us. You need to remember that Jesus took our hurt on the cross of Calvary so we could be loved. The Lord Jesus stood in our place. Many times when we love someone as we're supposed to love another person, we must be willing to suffer the pain of giving the other person their freedom. Many times when we love someone, we must be willing to suffer the pain of not living their lives for them. You see, my friend, many times giving another person their freedom like Christ gave us our freedom hurts more than anything else because we want to be right in the center of someone else's life. Listen, my friend, Jesus said, this is a new commandment that I'm giving to you, that you love one another as I have loved you. How much did he love us? Enough to die for us on the cross. He said, ye also love one another, even to the, t to the place that we would be willing to lay down our life for one another. Pray with me. Father, today, thank you so much for your love and loving us enough to die on the cross of Calvary for our sin. And now, Lord, help us to have that same type of love. We can't do it without you, but in you we can do all things. So help us, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, my friend, go out into your world today. Hey, make a big difference. Hey, go out and love somebody a little bit. Let them see the love of the Lord Jesus. Remembering that your life may be the only Bible that some will ever read. So let others see Jesus in you. Have a great day.